Hi everyone, welcome back to my Trying to Conceive vlog series. This is vlog number two. Um, if you didn't catch vlog number one, my name is Rachel Davis, hello. And we are trying to conceive baby number four. Um, as mentioned in my first video, I'm currently breastfeeding and trying to conceive is proving really, really difficult because my cycles are kind of all over the place and it's just making it really, really difficult to track everything. So my plan, was to drop Orlando's feed to this month in the hope that it would kind of you know push my body to get back to normal and get a bit more regular however that did not go to plan this month at all we all ended up poorly um we've literally had so Olivia was poorly then Oriana was poorly then me and Orlando were and then Ryan was ill too so yeah it's not been a fun month everyone's been snotty everyone's just not been feeling very great I also have Meniere's disease, which has been flaring up massively this month. Like even now filming this video, I feel quite dizzy. So yeah, that's been quite difficult this month. Yeah, so after my last video, I was just coming up to the end of my period, I think during that last video. I had six days of no bleeding whatsoever. And then I had another period. I literally bled and up for another seven days like a full on normal period. So I had a period, six days of nothing, and then I had another period. Like, what is that about? So confusing. So I was due to ovulate the week after my second period. So um, I was using the ovulation sticks and it was literally like a faded line constantly. And then I'd have a couple of really strong sticks, not to the point that it shows that I'm ovulating, just like stronger. And then it'd go faded again and then it'd get a bit stronger and then it would like fade again. And I was just like, what is going on? Am I going to ovulate? Am I not? Like, oh, so confusing and so frustrating as well. So, yeah, I ended up ovulating from what I think and according to the ovulation sticks on cycle day 33, which is the day my period was due. I mean, I don't even know what that's about. It's so frustrating um but anyway this month i i'm going to be completely honest with you trying to conceive kind of went out the window anyway as i mentioned before everyone's been poorly i've had barely any sleep orlando's been up feeding all night and he's got his two teeth coming through at the front so the thought of like stopping and changing his routine and trying to drop feeds and oh it's just it's just not been possible it, you know tending to the children when they're poorly um it's it's draining and it's it's hard enough then on top of it me and ryan have been poorly too so we've just been really drained and just feeling really tired and obviously i, I am going to be completely honest as i said like sometimes we're just not not in the mood to do the deed like especially when you're breastfeeding let alone when you're poorly but when you're breastfeeding like it gets to the end of the day sometimes and Orlando's been feeling that much that when I finally got him to sleep and he's laid down into sleep I just don't want to be touched I am so touched out like the thought of like someone touching me I'm just like oh my god get off me please I get such an aversion sometimes anyway um with Orlando feeding because he's just feeding so much that when Ryan wants a cuddle at night I'm like oh please just leave me alone I just can't go yeah, so I just wanted to kind of say, you know, like you can have a plan in your mind of when you want to hopefully conceive and particularly like myself, I suffer with high premises and I like to try and time when I'm going to be really, really poorly and sick over like the school holidays and stuff. So I haven't got to get up and do school runs and things like that. But, you know, the, the problem is that there's going to be things that crop up along your journey along the way. And that's OK. That is OK. It's just, I feel like you just kind of, you need to be relaxed about it. If you get yourself really worked up, it's just not going to help things. And it can take the fun away from the, you know, journey then as well. If you get kind of stressed about the fact that things are cropping up, you know, I think being a mum of three, that's bound to happen, isn't it? So yeah, I just wanted to kind of say, you know, it, it's okay if things crop up. I am on cycle day number five of my new cycle so I'm just coming to the end of my period now and I have started seed cycling <laughs> so random but apparently it is I've read that a lot of women it's really really helped a lot of women and I have definitely got a seven day luteal phase I hope I've said that right um 
which it says it needs to be a minimum of like 11 days um, for, for a successful pregnancy. And mine's definitely like six or seven days. So I, this month I have started seed cycling, which if you don't know, it's between the, so the day that you start your period to the day that you ovulate, you have a tablespoon of flax seeds and a tablespoon of pumpkin seeds. I'm just trying to think if this is right, but it definitely is. So it's flax and pumpkin between the, the first day of your period and then when you ovulate. And once you've ovulated, you then have sesame seeds and sunflower seeds. I remember. So yeah, um, apparently it's meant to work. It's meant to kind of complement the... Um, hormones that you have and help your body to kind of regulate and that kind of thing it's meant to help meant to help progesterone too let's hope it helps but um yeah so that's what i'm trying this month i'm still going to use the ovulation sticks this month we are going on holiday so hopefully we'll be nice and relaxed and chilled and everyone will be better and maybe this month will be our month but who knows I will let you know how the seed cycling goes. As I say, I'm on day six of my, five or six of my cycle now. And I've been taking the seeds every day. Um, I know I'm not going to feel any different or anything like that, but I'm just hoping it's actually going to make a difference. But who knows? Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to kind of say if things crop up during your trying to conceive journey, that is totally okay. Just try and relax about it. Try not to worry. Um, and just move on to the next month. Um, being stressed and, you know, like worked up about things that crop up is just going to, you know, it's not, it's, it's just going to take the fun away from it and stress you out. And that's just not what you need. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I know it's short and sweet today, but hopefully next month I will have a lot more to update you on. Thank you for watching.